In this presentation, we're going to look at the if statement in Excel. The if statement is one of the most commonly used functions in Excel, and therefore it's important to understand the basics of how to use it and how to set it up before you put it everywhere within your spreadsheet. So what we're going to do in this example, we've got a, a, a cheeky little example here, where we're going to put the value in column D equal to yes if this is Clayton Lock, and we're going to put no if it's not Clayton Lock. Okay. Now I've written down here on row 10 the general statement for an if statement. So here we have equals if, that's the Excel part, and then we open brackets, and then we put a statement that we're looking for to be true. In this case it's going to be cell B3 equals Clayton. And if that is true, then what we put after the comma is going to be what Excel does. If that's not true, it's going to do what's after the second comma. So if we look at cell D3 here, what we want to put in here is if, and you see it actually prompts me now, the logical test, the value if it's true, and the value if it's not true, right, it's false. So if B3 equals Clayton, then I want to put yes. Else I want to put no. And then I close the quotes. And there we go. It puts yes in there now because in this case B3 does equal Clayton. If I copy that down, we can see here it's saying if B6 equals Clayton. Well, B6 doesn't equal Clayton, it equals Katie. So it's not going to do the yes, it's going to do the no. And there is the no part in there. Now what we actually want to check on here is whether B3 equals Clayton and C3 equals Lock. You can do this one of two ways. I'm going to teach one way in this tutorial and another way in a subsequent tutorial. The first way is to use the AND statement in Excel. So what I can do in here is I can write AND and then after I say B3 equals Clayton I then say AND C3 equals lock. Okay, so you can see now how that's put the brackets around the AND statement. So if both of those things are true, then the logical test is true. If only one of them is true, then the logical test is false. So when you're using AND, both conditions, in fact as many as you like, you can go up and do, put as many ANDs in here as you like, have to be true for the result to be true. So, it says yes to this, and if I copy it down, it will now get rid of that yes out of the Clayton Smith, because he's now a no. The other way of doing this, or another way of looking at the, the logical tests while we're here, is OR. Now, if we use the OR statement, then that is now going to say, if B3 equals Clayton, or C3 equals Lock. So, either one of those conditions to be true, we'll return a true result. So again we say yes to that and if we go down it will now pick up both the Claytons and the locks as yeses. So a lot of people would start to do this using nested if statements and there are a lot of times when you do need a nested if statement. But this is a much simpler way to, to work and it's a much easier way to look at when you're looking at if statements. So again download this file, have a play, um, and see if you can uh, repeat what we're doing here and learn a bit more about ifs. We've looked at here in terms of text strings but we could quite easily put equations in so if we had a 1 in here we could put in here if E3 equals 1 then um, put E3 plus 30 else just put what's in E3 Okay, so there now you can see if E3 equals 1, put E3 plus 30, in that case 31, else put E3. So if we made this 3, you can see it then just puts it to E3. So you can do numeric if statements as well if you want, as well as the text statements. Download the file, have fun, enjoy the if statement, you're going to use it a lot if you use Excel.